What's happening everybody? This is Sasuke and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. Today we're going to be doing the daily run before it's over. Only 38 minutes left and we're going to be playing a tribal. So we already got some uh, practice in. I think we're going to stay with no crown, stay the normal skin, and of course we don't have a golden weapon or anything so let's get started. Now we're going to, as rebel, your right click allows you to spawn allies for the cost of HP. And your first ally will always cost 1 HP, and every ally after that will cost 2 HP if there's an ally on the screen. So if you cast an ally, and then there's no ally on the screen, and you cast another ally, it'll be 1 HP. But if you cast an ally while there's another ally on screen, it'll be 2 HP. So when allies die, they have a chance to drop consumables, and they also drop rads. So we're going to use it whenever it's convenient. We aren't going to overdo it and spam our way to death. Um, I believe we're gonna go plutonium hunger since we have a crossbow and hope that works out for us. We're gonna go ahead and spawn an ally. The nice thing about allies is not only do they DPS, they also they aren't targeted by they can be hit by enemies but they aren't targeted by enemies. So when they run out there to start dealing DPS you don't have to worry about them dying out of you know terrible positioning or whatever. And they, uh, when they drop, whatever they drop, it's just pure convenience, honestly. I mean, 1 HP for some rads and some extra damage saves you bullets, saves you time, saves you energy. <laughs> saves everything! It's great! Try it now! Um, you know, it's just nice to have. The throne butt for Rebel makes the, uh, allies shoot faster. That was some bad damage, so we aren't going to be spawning any allies for a little bit. We're gonna try to get out of yeah, out of dodge here. See what weapon we got. The wrench. I don't want it. The wrench has caused us lots of pain, so that was almost a lost run right there with that shot. We're gonna be careful. Sneak some shots in here. I really wanna take care of the rest of the rest of the floor before we go air and fight our boss. There he is. He's uh he's dead. We just gotta play it careful, make sure you don't take any damage. Sadly no HP drops, but we're doing decently on ammo. And yeah, we're gonna go Bloodlust. The nice thing about Bloodlust is it's gonna synergize some of their passive. Every time we get a kill, there's a chance to get HP back. And uh, every HP could be more followers, pretty much. That'll deal DPS and give us rads. And there's some HP, so it's looking pretty good right now. Our little buddy died. I think it seems fair enough to go ahead and summon another one. We aren't in woes right now. Not hurting for HP or anything. So, things we're looking for? Bolt Marrow. Bolt Marrow would be extremely nice. We're also looking for a replacement for our pistol. Oh, hi. <laughs> you want to kill these guys as soon as possible because they all have shotguns. And, um, yeah, they are not afraid to exercise their right to murder the crap out of you. That was the last enemy. We're almost full HP. Oh, I forgot about one of the most important things about Rebel. So, when you go through a portal as Rebel, you'll get half of your HP back. So, if you're not on an even number, you won't get as much HP back as if you are on an even number. So, we're at 7 right now. And we, won't, we wouldn't get an HP back if we went through the portal. Because it gives you half your HP rounded down, not up. So, we're going to go ahead and summon another guy and grab his free rads. Then when we go down, we'll be healed back up to 7 like nothing ever happened. Recycle gland, pretty convenient. Trigger fingers would be good. Honestly, all of these are good. I'm saying trigger fingers so we can shoot our crossbow a bit faster. Go ahead and blow that up. Not letting another car stand in my way. Murder the assassin before he gets a chance to do anything. And, oh, hi. Whoa. That guy squeezed out a shot perfectly. I'm impressed. Gonna go ahead and summon ourselves a companion. Let him start doing his thing, DPSing. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten very good weapon drops this far. But, I mean, the crossbow is gonna carry us. And if he explodes right there and blew that up and killed me, I would be beyond angry. I would. He would be fired from the rebel squad forever. <laughs> no level sadly, but we get our HP back so we can summon another buddy. Come on buddy. We're gonna take care of these snipers as soon as we can. 
We got HP back for that one. That was nice. So when this guy dies, we can guilt free summon another one because we got the HP back we used in the first place. We use a lot of ammo for that one assassin, but it's better than him murdering us, I suppose. So I shot a lot of crossbow shots there. Splinter gun is okay, but sadly we already have a weapon for that ammo type. So we can't really justify getting another one. Oh wow, you're just what a jerk. I wasn't I wasn't even here, man. I wasn't I wasn't there. He snuck in a shot. Gonna go ahead and go down to the next floor. Looking for bolt marrow? No bolt marrow. Looking for a scarier face because we have bad weapons. Okay, we took some damage there. Maybe we'll get some HP back from this fight, I'm hoping. These bullets count as enemies? Oh my god, don't trap me in here. Don't do it, big dog. We're hurting, we're hurting! Oh my lord, no. Okay, so we died, that's the daily run. Oh, that was so bad, but big dog was like, hey, I'm gonna come eat your butt a little bit. So, not happy about that. Rank 1000. Oh, gross. That's two daily runs in a row that I'm not happy with. But I'm going to do three videos today because I'm crazy like that. And also only because there's 30 more minutes so we can do another one. But we're going to go ahead and continue our rebel gameplay. I'm going to switch over to the Crown of Hatred. And I'm going to do the B skin because I'm crazy. And we're going to kick it off. Showing off Rebel and his fancy cape. I don't believe I gave Rebel a fair shake as we take damage in the beginning. Um, it's an extremely good character, extremely versatile, and uh, makes up for a lot of his problems with mutations. And, you know, I feel like we didn't get very good weapons, sadly, that run, but it's no excuse for poor play. I played poor, there's, there's, uh, I can't say much else to it. So the Crown of Hatred, every time we open a chest, we're gonna get some rads, which is going to be really nice for us, but we're also going to take some damage, which kind of sucks. But hopefully, the thought is we can get the perfect amount of mutations so that our opening shenanigans is not going to hinder us at all, and we're just going to end up getting tons of HP back, and it's going to be peachy keen. What a good dodge. If only I could have done that last time. I believe we are going to go with back muscle. Higher HP capacity, or not HP capacity, look at me. I am just out of it from losing that. That was a little shock to the system, sadly. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Gonna just dodge in and out, laying down shots on Mr. Big Bandit here, and he's done for. So, what I'm looking for today is one of these videos I want to loot. I really do. I haven't had one in a little while, and I'm starting to feel deprived. I don't want this. <laughs> As much as I respect it, a lot of people like the SMG, I'm just not a lot of people. So we could be crazy and go to YV's Mansion with the screwdriver. I don't think it's the intelligent choice. I think it's the fun choice. And since we aren't doing it daily, and we need something for the video to be interesting, <laughs> we might as well go with the fun choice. Gonna go with Rabbit's Paw. Maybe we'll get some more ammo, some more HP. All that bull crap. Already taking damage from the... Uh, Long reload time, sadly. But let's just uh, cool it down for a second here. The DJ Cool Stuff. Which I, d I don't know who that is, but I'm sure if he's out there, he's a really cool dude. Uh, <laughs> question mark. How, how are you not dead, my friend? Uh, the, bo the bolt landed inside of him, and he's like... You know what? I'm good. I didn't hurt too bad. I mean, when you're that manly about it, you can't question them, though. So, we're level 5 already, which is pretty sick. The higher rate of fire. We need strong spirit to keep us alive, I'm not gonna lie, but the higher rate of fire is incredible. Gonna go ahead and pop an ally. We'll watch him shoot his heart out as we die. We're gonna do another one. The uh, the crown is what makes this risky. If you don't play very well, you're gonna get burned for it, and that's what's happening right now. 
My poor play is allowing us to take way too much damage when the only damage we should be taking is the damage from opening stuff. But instead we're taking actual damage and opening stuff damage. So I think we're gonna go sharp teeth because I'm, I'm kinda wondering if it applies to the chest that we open. So if we were to go and open a chest, every enemy on the area would take one heart of damage. Which would be kind of interesting. It would be a little neat synergy. It does. That's very, very cool. I don't know how useful it's going to be. But it's a, it's a neat synergy that now we know of. So we have a pretty good weapon balance here. I don't want to summon any allies because we don't have a lot of HP. But that can change in a floor or two. Let's go down here, check out what we got. Some more bandits just chilling around. No loitering! <laughs> this is my place. No loitering in my place. We're gonna go the higher ally rate of fire. So I can show it off without dying instantly, hopefully. Because I think it's incredible. Look at this. He just goes nuck and futz on everything. And he doesn't die faster or anything. He just, he just goes crazy when he shoots stuff. It's incredible. It pretty much saves ammo. Like, consistently, you'll save a clip of ammo. Oh, and when you right click, apparently, it counts as taking damage. I thought they would not allow that synergy to go through. But they do, and I'm grateful for it. Nuclear Throne is so fantastic. I wanted the ammo, but I didn't want to get too close. We're going to grab these shells. I kind of want that sledgehammer, but it's a really dumb idea. So let's just go ahead and go down. Bloodlust is going to make everything better. Er, tang. Going to go ahead and summon this little ally. Hopefully to let him do some work instead of getting stuck back there, Mr. Ally. He's like, I'm on break. Damn it, ally. There are no breaks. What do you think this is? So, our ally did nothing besides get glitched back there, so literally useless. But this one, look at him, he's raring to go. So I'm going to take triple machine gun. We don't have what we need to make it really useful yet, but I don't think we're going to use it too much in the early game. I wonder, these guys have 2 HP I'm pretty sure. At least it was my impression. Actually, I think they have 3 HP, so never mind. I was about to say, if we were at 0 followers and we summoned 2, that would equal 3 damage, and I could one shot every rat that was around me. It'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if it'd be worth it, but it'd be interesting. So, we're not going to leave the floor at an odd number, or we won't recover as much HP as we should have. So, we're going to leave an even number. And we need second stomach, but I'm going to take impact wrist. <laughs> this, is a, this is becoming a theme of my nuclear throne runs, and one could argue is the reason why they haven't been very impressive here lately. We're going to summon an ally, maybe get some ammo, some saving of the ammo. Maybe make him go in there and do some of our dirty work. He's being lazy. Go in there, go crazy. Now, for some reason, our ally is just not wanting to work hard today. I can't blame him. Maybe he's had a he's had a rough week, you know. I don't think that's the last. Okay, it wasn't. I was making sure it wasn't the last uh, enemy, so it didn't blow up this car and murder us to death. Murder us to death, of course. To die twice. That's how bad the death would be. We left at an odd number. Not my favorite. We're gonna go second stomach. Just because we're, we're taking so much HP, or so much damage, on purpose, most of the time. Some of it's not, sadly, but most of the time it is. And it's to better ourselves later. So we got another ally out. He's going to be doing some work for us. Sadly, we pissed off the IDPD. 
Owl and that shield are shielded at like the worst place ever. So this floor has been chaos. If you've been able to follow this, congratulations. I think I'm going to trade out our slugger, which has been doing a lot of work for this flame shotgun. I just, I really dig the flame shotgun. I think it is a fantastic item. Not falling for that one again. I'm going to summon two allies, just because we got some HP back. And I think they are going to lay into Big Dog at the same time that I do, and not die by assassins. Alright, so we're out of ammo for one of our guns, but there's a heavy crossbow, which is good enough to replace it. So now we have close range, and we have long range covered, and there's bolt marrow. Wow, things are adding up, boys. Go ahead and spawn one of these fellows. And we're getting a lot of HP back from our bloodlust, which is beautiful. It's paying off just as we need it to. I this is working really well and I don't know why normally I don't feel like we deal this much damage with the flame shotgun but today it's just kicked into overdrive which I'm perfectly fine with <laughs> if you if you want to work hard so I don't have to work as hard I'm not gonna complain I don't think we're gonna get the rats oh wow we did they got in at the very last second So this floor is a little scary with our setup because we don't want to waste all of our heavy crossbow shots on these little guys unless we can get a lot of them in one hit. And these dogs always are a problem for me anyway. Yeah, so this floor just kind of sucks because there's a lot of enemies that have high enough HP to not be bothered by our shotgun too much but low enough HP to not require a heavy crossbow shot but you can't have it both ways so shut up and do one or the other I guess <laughs> hoping our ally does some work here we have a guy trying to use his ability on us to bring us closer to him down here oh it was over here wow it felt like it was dragging me downwards Okay, we're gonna shoot a couple shots in here because I see some multi-kill opportunities. Multi-kill. Oh man, I was hoping that was a longer hallway so we were killing a lot of stuff. Okay. Grab our bolt, see what's in here. A flame gun. I'm good. Not what I'm looking for. What's that? Sawed off. We have max shells. So we need back muscle. It's becoming more apparent to us now. We also need to be more careful. I felt it was making a risk even getting that close. Recycle gun would be nice, but we don't have the weapon to support it. So Eagle Eyes is just going to make our flame shotgun deal some more DPS as long as we're a bit more accurate with it. Ah, oh, he snuck up behind us. Well, that kind of wait a second is he the hero okay we beat him you saw it we saw it we all saw it <laughs> so um I think we're gonna do one more run but we're gonna we're gonna lay our rebel to rest this run is gonna be specifically to unlock horror so we have her unlocked I think YV is a really good character but I think plants also a really good character for that now, we don't really want to take any risk, so we're just going to start with a normal plant. The idea behind unlocking Horror is you don't want to get the first two weapons chest, and you want to fight her on the second, or sometimes on the sewers is actually better than fighting her on the third floor. Because if you fight her on the third floor, you have to deal with the boss too, and if you don't have good enough weapons to kill her fast enough, it can get really troublesome. The grenade launchers are pretty good. Oh my god, I almost walked right into it. I had to like go silent just to stop my brain from going, hey, what's that? So we skipped one. So on the next floor, there should be a large rad canister that we want to miss. Of course, it's always a natural instinct to walk right into them. So it can be kind of hard to not do that. 
Because you're thinking, oh rads, I need those to get better at the video game, which is true. Okay, I think this is going to be better. See, there's the large rad canister, and the last two enemies seem to be beside it. So we have to risk... Okay, this is great, actually. If we can draw this maggot away, and then trap him, double trap him, get in here, bring them out, kill them, and then kill the maggot up here. Ah, the portal came up here. So now there should be horror on this floor. Bolt Marrow should make it slightly more understandable to be able to kill her. Horror is an incredibly difficult enemy. She shoots out tons of radiation, she deals lots of damage, and she's just not meant to be fun. Oh, and there she is! So, okay, this is going to be really rough, because this is not a good position to be in. But as long as we play smart, we should be able to do it. Put five shots on the big bandit, run down here, grab the HP. Oh, and there's horror. Okay, try to get a trap on her. Got a trap. One, two, three, and horror's down. Horror is unlocked. So, let's just go to the next floor, and then we'll end the, vi end the video there. I don't know. Actually, let's just play it out. Let's play the plant out. The old Plantomatic 9000. I don't mind making a little longer video than I was expecting to. I mean, we have a really good combo. Like, I'm saying, let's not play it out, and then I look at my weapons, and I'm like, damn, those are nice weapons. I look at my mutation, and I'm like, that's a nice-ass mutation. Take Trigger Fingers, we'll take Bloodlust to survive. And, uh, let's, let's go, let's go the distance, guys. They did nerf plant a little bit, not on purpose. They actually changed the way that um, scarier faces calculated. It used to deal damage to creatures at the start of the floor, so they were weaker. Now it decreases their maximum HP. And if you know what plant's throne butt does, it decreases their HP by 40%, or it deals 40% damage to them while they're on his uh, trap. And I, I did that trying to show off and took damage for it. But um, I was trying to show this off and I took damage for it. But yeah, they take 40% of their life when they're on the trap. So it used to be you could like negate 80% of their life just by having a trap on them. They kind of nerfed that a little bit, which was understandable. Because you could just like murder late game bosses so fast it wasn't even funny. Photosynthesizing. <laughs> I like that. But now, it's a, it's a bit more fair, it's not as overpowered, but I mean, it's still really, really good, like... It's only slightly not as good as it was before, in my opinion. Because, I don't know, I think Plant's amazing. Plant is one of my favorite characters. Not only because he's a murderous plant, and who doesn't like murderous plants? Don't, don't step to me. <laughs> he was like, hey buddy, how you doing? I'm a Mr. Frogman. Don't want none of your shit today. But I still think it's a really good combo. It's something we're looking out for, for sure. Splinter Gun's pretty good. I'm really surprised we didn't hit level 5. Like, I was walking around praying for level 5 there. I think we're gonna go ahead and try the Splinter Gun this time. We neglected it last time. We died. We didn't die because we didn't take Splinter Gun, but... I think it's still gonna be pretty nice to have. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. That car... going pretty good. We're being a little aggressive. A little. He says as he's literally running a straight line at somebody shooting. We're being too aggressive, honestly. To keep this play style up, <clears throat> it's gonna be suicide. So, let's calm down. Take a deep breath. Relax a second. Eagle Eye, I think it's gonna be really good. Because we aren't high on ammo, so I don't think back muscle is gonna come into play in the short term. Which is probably a mistake. Taking it in the long term would still be just as good. Let's go ahead and root Big Dog so he doesn't corner us or anything. And let's take care of some of the rigmarole around him. Let's go ahead and destroy these cars so we can walk around. Let's re-trap them. Don't even think about getting out of there. Grab these bolts and play it really calm and collected. We can stay as far as away as, as we want. He's trapped. He can't move. We got all the rads. We're almost six. And there's an assault slugger. 
I don't think we want it. I see a weapon spinning in there, and I don't know what it is. Oh man, sadly it's an explosive weapon, which we don't need. But, think smart. We can trap people. Yeah, we can trap people. We're fine. Let's go ahead and use this. I just want to use some of the ammo, honestly. Just because I never use it, and uh, we're running low on ammo for our other weapon. Gonna grab some bolts, then we'll go drop this and pick up our other weapon. Okay, let's back out. Just back out of the situation. We got ourselves in a bad situation, we can admit that. Now let's back out of it for a second. Take a step back and breathe. There we go. Properly done. Now we just continue to do what we've been doing. Trap somebody before shooting them, so they can't run at you. And take them out one at a time. The plasma rifle. Um... We might have to take it. Now this is the hardest decision I've ever seen in Nuclear Throne. The snare? Godlike. Back muscle? Godlike. Rabbit paw? Godlike. Impact wrists? I like it a lot. <laughs> I think we got a good snare though. We're running out of ammo, so the rabbit paw would make more sense. But we're going to use less ammo if they have less HP. That's the, uh... I'm going to grab this, use some of it. I don't know if that's the correct way to see it, but that's how I'm going to. For, for my convenience. Okay, we took damage. It's fine. Don't panic. If we don't panic... <laughs> Our character won't panic, obviously. So, this is actually working out pretty well. So I'm going to hold on to it for a second. Keep using it. I'm not only going to keep using it because it's working. I'm going to keep using it because I think our other weapon... I think we're holding on to it because we, we were fond of it. I don't think we're holding on to it because we needed it. So, we're going to have to take this slower than normal. And as long as we trap everything before we actually... Nope, I'm not going to fall for it. As long as we trap everything before we actually shoot it, we're going to be saving a little bit of ammo. Because it'll end up having less HP. So we're going to sneak in here, grab this. He's trapped, shoot him once. It's going very well. We're, we're sticking to the philosophy that we set out for ourselves. Scare your face, even less HP, even less ammo consumption. That's the dream. We just got a three for one, wow. Okay. Shoot a shot in there. Kill this guy, because he's looking at me funny. I don't trust him. We're kind of going against our philosophy for a second here. But there's, there's good reason. I think... We're gonna miss a snare, thinking we're safe. Ooh, and take a lot of damage. Easy peasy. Uh, I think this is gonna be better. Guaranteed damage, pretty much. I don't know, we already have Bolt Marrow. This just, I don't know, Bolt Marrow is actually nice with this weapon, because it makes it turn faster. Hey, I saw that. Was that a tongue? I think that was a tongue. Yep, that's a tongue. Lower rolls. Let's go ahead and throw that on them. He's dead. Throw that back there. He's dead. Throw this up here. Shoot a shot. Don't even go close to it. And he's dead. Good. Good, good, good. So now we just need to go guns blazing. Which is going to be hard. We're going to have to adjust because we haven't done that in a little bit. Actually, we might not have to. I'm going to shoot a couple shots down here just to be sure. And there is Little Hunter. He's snared, putting shots into him. And he's back up. Where is he landing? Oh, he's back up. He's landing. Okay, there's IDPD. Don't panic. Where is he landing? We're playing it really calm. Oh, he's dead. Wow. And he tried to blow up on us, bastard. 
I see what you did there, and you will not confuse me. I place my faith in the light. <laughs> Hello. No thank you. Don't want any. You aren't selling me a thing. Okay, we're gonna swap back over, use this a little bit more. It looks like we accidentally killed some people down here. I can't say accidentally. We meant to kill them. But, uh, we killed them without gathering their rads or whatever they would have dropped. Kinda sucks. But, um, I mean, at least they didn't come up and flank us while we were fighting that very delicately. Open mind it would be really nice here, but I think we're gonna go with Strong Spirit for safety. And this is this has been our bane right here. This is where we've died repeatedly. Just because something's killed you before doesn't mean it always will. So let's take that philosophy and say, you know what? I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna go to the next place, and I think we're gonna do it with skill. Skills the kills. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, of course, don't put doubt in yourself. <laughs> Alright, so two plasma to kill those guys. I don't see any necromancers, strangely enough. Maybe there was only one necromancer this whole time? Okay, we missed a canister. Not gonna be tore up about it though. So, we preemptively killed those guys before they even came out. Okay, so, oh, we should check to see if it's one and done with these guys as long as we have them trapped. It is one and done. So, we're going to shoot out some shots here. Okay, that went extremely well. So, all these guys are really low HP, because not only do we have scarier face, I'm going to switch over and shoot you. So, we can only have one trap out at a time, so we kind of have to make a choice when we go into a room. What is the biggest target that's a threat? What is going to try to get close to us? And what is not going to be a threat? And I think I'm going to stick with what we have. It's working pretty well. Whatever's a threat is going to be eliminated as quickly as possible. Whatever is a charging threat is going to be snared and then eliminated after the initial threat. So right now I see our highest threats are surrounding us and we're going to run like little Little baby men, little baby men run. But that's where we're gonna be right now, because I don't like the situation. We're actually gonna spam some ammo. I don't feel comfortable, and I'd rather spam ammo than lose our life. So we're level nine, and we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna shoot them, trap this guy, shoot him, dodge a shot, and play it calm, collected, and cool. Okay, this guy up here, we missed, sticky launcher, we're gonna need more bolts. I don't think our weapons are good enough to beat the throne. If we do beat the throne, it's gonna be because plant is OP. There's no doubt about it. Um, I think laser brain makes sense here. Double damage on our energy weapon is gonna be nice. The incinerator, oh that's a really good weapon. I think we should take the incinerator over our secret pistol. It'll do more DPS. Um, it looks badass. <laughs> and we don't have back muscle, so we're gonna go with the bullets instead of this. Because that would only give us 10 bullets, that gave us 50 something, so. And I think this shoots 3 bullets at once, so we're gonna shoot him with this gun to start out with. We'll only use 2. Okay, we're already gonna trap him. Just so he knows, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. I don't know if you heard me popping my knuckles, I'm very concerned. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's gonna be good. And time to shoot. We have eagle eyes, so let's don't be don't be afraid to be far away from him. Is he dead? He's dead. He's dead, so we're gonna go get our weapon. I think that's him dying. I thought that was him dying. Hello? Oh my god, hi. Hey, there you are. Okay, now he's dead. I really thought he died earlier. That was 
almost a crucial mistake, but it ended up working out because uh, plant's OP and he can snare people, so we're going to shoot some shots here. Alright, everybody's cleared out. Trap him the second he spawns and go to town. And he should be dead, like, soon? Please? He's dead. Okay. So we're into the loop without level 10 and without any ammo. <clears throat> Kinda scary. I, I don't like this situation at all. Can we just not and say we did right here? That car! This car right here! Okay, so the same philosophy that we've done the whole run still applies. We want to snare stuff before we shoot it. If at all possible, anyway. Because we don't want to waste as much ammo. Because we don't have very much. Gotta run in here, grab some. Can, can you just... Oh my god, the damage! Um, I don't think this is the smart idea, taking this lightning pistol. I really don't. But I like the lightning pistol. And I think... Oh my god. It's gonna be negligible. Okay. Calm. Collect. Collect thine self. And be cured. Okay, so we collected ourselves for a second there. We relaxed. I kind of feel like we need this for the DPS, because this lightning pistol isn't going to be the most DPS. Instead, we're going to take this super splinter pistol. Hope it works out for us. Wow, he died. Okay, so we have our ultra. And of course, the stereo snares means you don't have two snares at the same time. But I think the killer is going to be better for the... Pretty much, so we don't have to use as much ammo. If we can just keep throwing snares in there and then everything that dies creates another thing that murders, <laughs> I think we're going to be fine for a little while anyway. Till, till the game gets too ridiculous for my mind, I think we'll be fine. Sadly this isn't the daily, but uh, by the time this is over, hopefully the daily will be up. And then it will be the daily, or at least we can do the daily then. That was pretty convenient. He started to summon those guys, so we got a couple more uh, guys out of the explosion than we should have. So we got a wrench. <laughs> What's behind door number? Never mind. We have really low kills right now. I mean, eh, we're alive. That's that's pretty much what matters, right? What is this? A golden laser pistol. That'd be kind of cool to start the next run with. Okay, so the boss just appeared. Now we have to do some crazy stuff that we don't like to do. Sounds like college, but, you know, we'll get over it. Super crossbow. Definitely going to take it. Allow us to do so much more DPS. We just one-shot Big Bandit. And we're on to the next floor. No back muscle. It's hurting so bad. We can't start stacking up ammo, so if we ever have to use a lot, we're kind of just screwed. As as we are at the moment. Ah, so good. Oh, shot in the back, but it was too late. That guy gave Nuclear Throne, sadly, a better name than I could today. Anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys like the content, free, free, feel free to check out the rest of my channel. Like, subscribe, all that good business. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.